this is one of the most loving pieces of content that I'm putting out there. The reason for this is because something happened to me the other day that I think is so important that I want to share this with you and hopefully this can also help you get to the next level, accelerate the speed at which you get to your goal. So I just got back from a trip uh, to Bali. I was in Bali and Kuala Lumpur for almost three months and now I'm back in my home country Kenya and in Nanyuki which is where I live and after coming back I had a conversation with somebody and that conversation triggered me and I remember it triggered it triggered my insecurities it triggered how I felt it triggered me having these negative thoughts that came up I remember thinking to myself wait you just spent three months in a new country, trying to understand a new culture, getting into a new community, making new friends, making new business contacts, starting a new project with my new business contacts. I just spent three months in a transformation. I even cut my hair in the process to signify new beginnings. And then I come back and I behave in a similar way to how I behaved before? Why? I've invested so much time and so much money in this process that I refuse to be the same person who I was before I left and now. And I told myself, this is actually disappointing, Jackie, and we need to do something about this. We need to figure this out. So I started to realize that one of the things that I tend to do and that I've done in the past is focus on the actions and activities that I need to do in order for me to get a certain result. But I have this backward. And I remember hearing this from Myron Golden, who I absolutely love. He's one of my online mentors. And he talks about the process of achieving anything is be, do, have, not do, have. And I started to realize that I focus a lot on the do and, the, and hope to get the have more than I do on the be, the be part of that equation. And without the be, anything you have will just be temporary because you're gonna sabotage it or you're gonna go back to your old patterns and then you're gonna have to go back and do the, the do and then you're just going to keep circulating in the do and the have and then going back, losing the have, coming back into the do. And this applies for everything. This applies for any advancement you make. If you're trying to say lose weight, for example, you do the activities in order to have the result of a better body. But if you are not being that person who has that better body, who has a new lifestyle, who thinks differently, who has a different relationship with food, you're just gonna keep doing having, going back, and you can see how that cycle keeps repeating itself. And that was the realization I had. I said, wait a minute, after all this time, I know three months may not seem like a lot, but considering what I have invested and what I've been able to achieve in that time, how can I go back and be the same person who I was before? I refuse because that person can only achieve the results that I got in the past. And I'm looking at the next level. I realize that I need to work on the B. I need to work on my identity more than I need to figure out what I need to do in order to have what I want to have, in order to achieve my goals. I need to become that person who is aligned to my goal, the kind of person who is able to embody my goals. Oh, hi ninja let me introduce you come <laughs> meet ninja he just came from running and pulling some dogs outside so yeah yeah go back <laughs> i need to become that that new person in order for me to achieve my goals and my goals are really ambitious so i cannot achieve those goals being the same person who i was before and i understand that but clearly I only understood it logically or mentally, but not in my heart, because in my heart, I was still behaving like that person, being triggered by the same things, behaving in the same way. Now I'm going to, I'm embarking on a journey where I'm gonna figure out 
changing the being, changing my being. Like within a, a few days, I've literally just been binging on the knowledge that I need to get because things have to change. There is no way, there is no option of remaining the same for me. I hope for you, if you feel the same way, if you feel that you are at the point at which you really need a transformation in your life, and maybe even for you, you've gone through these spirals where you change, you get certain results, but then you sabotage or you go back even without sabotaging, like things just shift and these opportunities go away from you or something happens and you lose what it is that you had worked so hard towards. If you find yourself caught in that cycle and you're making very slow growth, if you feel yourself making two steps forward, three steps back, two steps forward, one step back, and you're constantly trying to figure out how to change this, how to break free, how to really get to that next level, I invite you to join me on this journey. Let's do it together. I'll be sharing more videos where I talk about some of the things that I'm learning. I've got a notebook where I'm actually like taking a lot of notes. I've been writing quite a bit of stuff and exercises, things that are practical because one of the things I don't like is to watch videos or read books that just tell you what you need to do and why it's important. But there's a place for that. I understand that. Like on the logically, I get it. What I need are practical things that I can do exercises that I can do that will actually help me with the transformation. And that's what I want to be sharing with you, these revelations as I get to learn them. And then what are some of the exercises we can do to break this, this habit? So if you're ready to work with me on this journey, you know, I look forward to seeing you in the next videos and to seeing you transform as, as I'm transforming.